Hey guys, what is up? Haas here. In honor of my return, I'm giving away five $100 Steam gift cards and five $100 Amazon gift cards. All you have to do to enter is like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and I'll pick the best ones as winners. Hey guys, what is up? Haas here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get any VAC, game, or Overwatch ban removed. That's right, you guys heard me right. Now you may be thinking, Haas, you've already made a video very similar to this before. Well, as I'm sure you guys are well aware, that video was made over two years ago. And simply put, Valve has patched that method and we've had to make a new one. And I've worked very, very hard to find a new method that works consistently for you guys. So please smash that like button if you guys want some more content just like this. Anyways guys, this method works for any game on Steam. So it won't work for like a Fortnite ban, but it will work for Counter-Strike, or it will work for Team Fortress, anything like that guys, it will work for. And as I already said, this works for VAC, Overwatch, or Game Ban. So it doesn't matter what it says here, just follow my instructions very carefully, and you guys should get your ban removed in no time. Anyways, as you guys can see, my ban has 1,000 days on it. You may be thinking, wow, that's a really long ban, and you'd be right. However, I've actually only had this ban for about a year. This is because, as you guys can see on this Q&A, in December of 2018, Valve made CSGO free to play. And what happened when they did this is because they made the game free to play and anybody can just get on it and potentially cheat, they reinstated every VAC ban that has ever been removed before. That includes Team Fortress, that includes CSGO, and that includes Dota. All the VAC bans that have been removed before were reinstated. Now obviously, this caused a lot of issues among users of Steam. Because, well, they already appealed their ban, and it got taken away, and now it's back. Like, what do you want them to do? Well, simply put, Steam did not have the time to review all of these requests, and it's created a massive loophole in their VAC and game ban system that I am about to show you guys. It may be patched very, very soon, so please, right when you see this video, go do it before other people take advantage of it. Anyways, guys, the first step you're gonna wanna do is log into the account you have the VAC ban on. As you guys can see, I already am logged in. I press it right there, VAC ban. Once you guys are logged into that account you have your VAC ban on, go up to the top here and press support. Once you're there, go to games, software, etc. and press whatever game you have a VAC ban on. In my case, that would be Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So I'd press that. Once you press that, you should see up here, VAC or in-game ban on record. And then you're gonna wanna press, I've been VAC banned or in-game banned. Once you press that, it should say right here, we've confirmed a VAC has been correctly applied to your account. That's okay, guys, don't worry about that, they will take it off. Also, don't worry about this. It says right here, Steam support is unable to remove your VAC ban. We have a zero tolerance policy on cheating. Well, quite simply, that is not true. They will remove your VAC ban, you just kind of have to lie to them so that they'll listen to you. Anyways, guys, the next step is you're going to want to go down here and press I would like to provide additional information on my ban. Press that right here, and this box should pop up. Once that box pops up, you're going to want to type up something great. I will type it up, and I will get back to you guys with a perfect template. Hey, guys, welcome back. I just typed up something great for you guys to use. I have it in the description for you guys to copy and paste. Anyways, it goes something like this. Hello Valve, I've realized my wrongdoings in hacking your game Counter-Strike Global Offensive or whatever game you have the VAC ban in. My ban was given correctly, but I'd like a second chance. That's very important. Mention a second chance. After that, say something like, I feel very sorry and I promise I won't cheat again so that they know you're not at a high risk for being a cheater once again. This seems very similar to the method in my last video. However, I've added a special touch that will get you guys all unbanned. If you just do this, they won't unban you anymore. They stop doing that. So you're gonna have to add something. I'll be right back with that little touch and I will see you in a moment. Hey guys, welcome back. As you guys can see, I've added this line. It says, you guys previously removed my ban in VAT case number V08. You guys are want to copy that exactly. Use those exact words. You guys previously removed my ban in VAT case number, like hashtag symbol, V08. Okay, guys, after you do that, you're going to want to type in four random numbers. Don't make it obvious they're random. Don't type in like 0000 
or one, two, three, four, just type in like five, four, three, six, just like I did, something that seems random. What we're essentially doing with this sentence and that fake code is we're making the Steam support believe that we have previously gotten our VAC ban removed, even though that's not really true at all. So while this is a lie and it feels a little bit dirty to do, I think it's very worth it to get your VAC ban removed. Anyways, guys, once you type all that out, you're just gonna wanna hit that send button down there and it will submit your request. It should say something like your help request has been submitted to Steam support, your reference code is blah blah blah. None of that matters. All that matters is that it was a success and Steam has gotten your message. After this, they should remove your ban in anywhere from four to seven business days. Now I know that may seem like a long time, but it is well worth it to get your VAC ban removed Trust me, guys. It may be a little bit less than that, but it will take no longer than seven days. Using this fake code to make the Steam support workers believe that you've had your VAC ban previously removed, they're just gonna believe you because they've had so many requests since they reinstated those VAC bans when CSGO went free to play that they don't have enough time in the day to check out all of these and they simply just remove your VAC ban, whether you had a previous request or not. This is a massive loophole, but at the end of the day, Valve doesn't really care because all their workers care about is getting home and making that money because they are a business. They're just gonna believe what you say as long as you have a believable fake case number like I put for you guys. This video is not for cheaters and hackers. This video is simply for those who were unjustly banned by the VAC or Overwatch systems for them to get their accounts back as they rightfully deserve. And before this video is over guys, I'd like to remind you that I'm giving away 5 $100 Steam gift cards and 5 $100 Amazon gift cards. All you guys have to do for a chance to win is to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. I'll pick the best ones as winners. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, have a blast for the rest of your day, and hopefully in a couple weeks here, you'll have no more VAC ban. Rock on guys!